Becoming Charlie by Kelly DiPuccio and Lovious Wise. The forest was alive with young caterpillars who kept their heads down, eating, just as they'd been taught to do. But not Charlie. Charlie looked up. Hello, trees. Goodbye, clouds. Good night, stars. Charlie, an elder, scolded. Eat your milkweed. You want to grow up to be a big, strong butterfly, don't you? said another. Charlie hadn't decided. It might be nice to be a spotted fawn or a waterfall. Wouldn't that be fun? During morning lessons, the young caterpillars were taught everything they needed to know about becoming a butterfly. Think black. Think orange. Think black. Think orange. During afternoon lessons, they studied patterns and shapes. This. No. Yes. <sighs> this. Not that. Okay. Nope. Very good. Not this. Charlie tried to concentrate on the colors and shapes, but the sun beckoned. Over here, she beamed, pointing out new things to discover. Wildflowers. Mountains. The turquoise sea. Charlie. Pay attention. Black. Orange. This. Not that. Charlie listened until a leaf curled into a smile, inviting the young caterpillar to play. Soon it was time for the caterpillars to form their chrysalis. Everyone was excited. Especially Charlie. But once tucked inside the darkness, Charlie felt unsure. What came next? Charlie couldn't remember. Think, Charlie, think. The caterpillar urged. Think black. Think orange. Yes, that's it. Charlie said at last. The caterpillar relaxed and concentrated. Black. Orange. Black. Orange. Blue. Blue? Charlie heard a bluebird singing in the distance. The bird song reminded the caterpillar of the trees and the wildflowers and the turquoise sea. Charlie smiled and felt the peaceful warmth of the sun. Now the caterpillar's sleepy thoughts drifted back to the stars and the clouds and the mountains. The summer fruits began to ripen, and the young butterflies woke from their slumber. Millions of butterflies dotted the sky like orange and black kites. But which one was Charlie? Where was Charlie? Charlie's tiny home remained still as a stone. I'm not surprised, said an elder with a frown. What a shame, said another. Just then, a single sip of dew landed on Charlie's shell. It stirred and shifted and cracked open. Another butterfly emerged and took flight. Only, this one was a little different from the rest. Unlike the other young butterflies, this one had become everything Charlie had ever loved. 